All right, let's analyze some of these. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Seven came out in 1995. What a movie! David Fincher blew the world away with this effort. This was a this was a zinger with a great twist at the end. Examining the impact of Kyle Cooper's title sequence, Kyle Cooper was the designer uh, for Seven, has left an indelible mark, not just on film design and motion graphic design, but on contemporary visual culture as a whole. Um, You know, he was so successful uh, in this um, effort to create the the intro credit sequence that uh, he formed a credit title sequence basically uh, his own studio called uh, Imaginary Forces. And it's still running to this day and it's very, very um, popular. It's one of the leaders of motion design for film. You know, this credit sequence, which I'm about to show you, it immediately sets the tone for the rest of the film. You watch this intro sequence and you just know it's going to get bad. Um, We're seeing basically, um, again, macro photography plays a large role in these things, but close-ups of um, of sewing needles and, and photographs, medical photographs, notebooks with just very, very small print. It's, uh, you, you know, we're going into the world of the psychotic serial killer. And we're basically being introduced to that character right off the bat before we even meet the two detectives, played by Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Um, and immediately, you know, just from the movie, the, um, the energetic and disjointed and an almost broken typography. The music by Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, um, it just brings anxiety um, and the startling imagery and, and a sense of impending doom. Um, Kyle Cooper, as soon as he did this, and I'll show you this here in half a second, suddenly had a lot more work uh, right after this because you know everybody loved it. And he created the opening titles for uh, The Island of Dr. Moreau in 1996, Spawn in 97, and Mimic, in 90, uh, actually Spawn was 97, Mimic was 97 as well. Uh, Arlington Road in 99, all of which looked more than a little familiar. But check out this disturbing intro sequence for the movie Seven. <laughs> 